Hey, are you wondering how to clean install Windows 11 on your PC so that you get the best performance possible and start fresh into the new OS? Then this video will guide you exactly through that process. However, do note that this method will erase your previous Windows installation and the data along with it. I would suggest pack up your data before beginning this process. If you have multiple partitions on your hard drive or SSD, then backing up just the C drive will suffice as we are not going to touch any other existing partition. That being said, let's get started and hit the like button if the video helps you. So I will show two methods to get the job done. You can choose whatever you find better. First of all, let's head over to the official Windows download page and download Windows 11 installation media. We are going to use this app to get our installation media ready, which can be any flash drive of 8 gigabytes or more. Now open the app after downloading and accepting the terms to proceed. I would suggest this first method if you are planning to upgrade the same PC in which you are making the installation medium as that way you would not need to put your activation key when you boot into the new OS. We are going to choose use recommended options for this PC and then click next. On this page, make sure the drive selected is your flash drive. Check the drive later for confirmation. Once checked, click next. Wait till it finishes downloading the ISO and once done, it will start creating the media by itself. Next, I will show the alternative process of doing the same thing on method 2. After that, we will move forward for the installation itself. Go to the Windows 11 download page again and this time select Windows 11 Disk Image ISO. Click Windows 11, choose the language and click on 64-bit as Windows 11 does not come in 32-bit version. Click confirm to start the download now. We also need one more small ISO burning app called Rufus. Links for all the sites will be given in the description for reference later. Click on the big download button and open the app after it finishes downloading. Choose carefully your flash drive first and then browse for the downloaded Windows 11 file. We do not need to change any other options. If you are however sure that you have an MBR file structured hard drive, then change the value from GPT to MBR. If you are unsure, let it be at the GPT partition scheme and leave everything else untouched. Click start and wait till it finishes writing to the flash drive. Once finished, we will move to the next step for installation.
you might have followed method 1 or method 2 for creating your installation medium but the installation part will remain the same for both methods for that we need to reboot our pc and press f12 key while it boots you would see the list of bootable devices being displayed from there we need to select our uefi flash drive name in my case it is the hp v236w select that and hit enter on this page choose what suits your region and proceed further On this page, choose I don't have a product key, even if you have it, as it will load the product key for you when you connect your PC to the internet for the first time. On the next screen, choose the edition of Windows you want. I will choose Windows 11 Pro for this video. And now comes the most important step, so do it very carefully to avoid any unwanted data loss. We will choose custom install as we are performing a clean install for this video. If you have multiple drives on your PC, your drives will look like drive 0, drive 1, etc. If you have a single disk, you will only have drive 0 and the other partitions as drive 0 partition 1, drive 0 partition 2 and like that. Now carefully select the correct partition and drive letter. For example, drive 0 partition 1. So to be sure the partition is your C drive or correct disk, check the size on the right side. Once you become sure, click on the right drive and click format. For example, I will be using the entire disk of disk 2 for the installation which is a 1TB drive. I will select that and format to move next. All your work is done now, wait till it finishes installing and boots into the welcome page. Just follow the on-screen instructions next and put your username and password and all that stuff to get to the home screen of your newly installed Windows 11. If you face any problems in any of these steps, please feel free to let me know your query. I will definitely help you out. This is Avik signing off. Catch you in the next one.